Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the top tricks on the Huawei Pura 70 Pro. Alright, so let's begin. First, let's open up the settings. And maybe let's begin with a few things that we have under the Huawei Assistant in our settings. And in here, basically, we have the uh, AI features. Uh, let me show you the most interesting one and the ones that are working in the best way, in my opinion. So, the first thing is the AI voice. Uh, it's like the Gemini or the Siri, but uh, in the Huawei version. Uh, we have two methods how we can enable it. We can use the button or we can use the uh, voice wake up. Let me show you the voice wake up first. Let's click on that. Uh, we can also re-record a wake up phrase, uh, but to wake up at this AI, we need to say this. We need to say, hi Celia. So, as you can see, it already worked. Well, let me show you that uh, slowly. So, uh, I'm going to tell the phrase right now. Hey Celia. And now, as you can see, the AI uh, enabled and launched. Uh, and now, uh, and now, of course, uh, I can, I don't know, ask the questions to AI to find something in the internet or, for example, to set me a, a reminder or a call, uh, an alarm. Uh, let me show you actually how to set an alarm mm, using the, the Celia. So, hey. so let's go. Hey, Celia. Set an alarm at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. okay. The alarm for 7 p.m. is now set. Okay, according to the Celia, uh, our clock uh, alarm has been set at 7 p.m. But just to make sure, let's open up the, uh, the clock app. Let's go now into the alarm. And as you can see, it actually uh, did saved. So, Celia. Uh, set an alarm for us at 7 p.m. just like I have told her so it works pretty nice mm, so that's the voice wake up uh, and now when you click on the wake up with power button make sure it's enabled uh, simply hold for around one second to launch the cilia and just like that it works so now you know how to use the uh, Celia how to uh, enable it. Let's open up the settings and again into the uh, Huawei Assistant uh, and now we have the AI Lens which is also pretty cool. Uh, in here we have the uh, QR code scanner and also the uh, translation thing. Uh, so it recognizes the text in multiple languages uh, and it gets us a real-time uh, trans uh, translations. So um, to uh, enable it because uh, there's no uh, link or how to enable it. Uh, everything is in our camera. So we need to open up the camera app. And when we are in the photo mode, uh, in here on the right side, we have that icon. We need to click on that. And in here we have our code scanner and also the uh, translation uh, feature. So uh, currently I don't have any QR code uh, just to show you how to scan it, but you know how to get access into it. Okay, uh, we can also use the translation mode. Uh, on the left side, we can choose the language uh, that we want to translate from, and on the right side, uh, the language that we want to translate into. Uh, in here, we have a list of uh, supported languages uh, in both uh, columns. Uh, so now, uh, let me find something that I can scan. Uh, maybe let's select as a um, translating language into the I don't know, let it be English, because uh, with me I have some uh, cleaning spray uh, and it's in Polish. So we will use the uh, translation feature to translate that text. So let's try to use it, how it works. So I need to point the camera on it. Okay, we can also turn on the light, but it's not necessary. Okay, let's click on the shutter button. Okay. I think it should be okay. And now I should take a look. Uh, my text has been successfully translated into, uh, into English. Just to show you uh, the comparison that I'm not uh, lying. You can see the differences uh, between those between those texts. So one is simply translated, the second one isn't. But you know now that this feature works. 
So it's pretty nice. Uh, we can close it right now. Now we know how it uh, works. Okay, I think that's all when it comes to the uh, Huawei mm. Mm. AI. Uh, that's that are the two uh, best settings. Uh, I mean features, mm, in my opinion. So now, straight from there, let's go into the accessibility features. Uh, and let's begin with uh, shortcuts and gestures. Uh, I have shown you the AI voice, and now let's go into Ultra Snapshot. Uh, so now, basically, when we double press the volume down, uh, when the screen is off, uh, one of those two things will happen. So we will take a snapshot, or it will open up the camera. Currently, the uh, take a snapshot is uh, selected in my uh, case. So I'll turn on the screen right now, and let's place the phone, and let's double the volume down, and let's see what will happen. Okay, you could see that it actually it took the snapshot. So let me show you now the second thing, which will be uh, the open camera. So let me close it, let's double tap, volume down. And as you can see, again, this feature launched. Okay, so that when it comes to the uh, ultra snapshot i'll just leave the open camera you know how it works right now we can also uh, enable the knuckle screenshot it's my in my opinion it's pretty cool it's fun to use uh, so make sure it's enabled uh, and it will uh, we can take a full screenshot partial screenshot or scroll screenshot using the knuckle so when we knuckle uh, twice mm, normally we will take a you know whole screen the screenshot of the whole screen so let me show you that boom you can see that it has been successfully made. The second option is the partial screenshot. We need to knock using our knuckle and uh, draw and simply select the part that we want to uh, take a screenshot of. Uh, so let's say I only want uh, the upper side of the of my screen to be screenshotted. So let me knuckle. Let's perform that move, and now we can select. Uh, manually the part of the screen that we can that we want to uh, save below also we can change the shape currently it's on the custom you can see that that it's a weird shape currently but below we can change into rectangle uh, oval and the heart so let's say i'll select the rectangle to save it click right in here now it has been successfully saved uh, back into taking screenshots and the last thing is the uh, scroll shot we need to draw an s to create a scroll shot so knuckle actually you don't need to knock uh, simply draw an s now it's taking a screenshot and now we can pinch to zoom or swipe with two fingers to scroll uh, but i just took uh, the photo only of my home screen so i cannot scroll but you know how it works right now okay of course you can also draw on your screen and I don't know add notes or any shapes that you want okay back into the accessibility features and let's go into the shortcut and gestures uh, now let's go with the record screen and now when we knock twice using our uh, knuckles it will record the screen so let's try it out Again. Okay, now click on agree. And you can see now on the uh, top left corner that uh, screen is actually being recorded right now. Just to show you that it works, I'll go back from those sites. I'll click on save. And you can see that I can play it right now. Okay, next thing when it comes to the accessibility and the uh, shortcut and gestures uh, is, the, is the wake screen and uh, normally the double tap will be enabled but we can also enable race to wake I'll show you both of them so let's begin with race to wake I'm gonna turn off the screen and now I'll lift it up and you can see that uh, the screen launched has been awakened same thing with uh, double tap 
now it also works. Okay, so that's the wake screen. Uh, now, mute ringtone and reduce the volume by flipping or raising it. We can also enable it. So, uh, when we want to mute the ringtone when someone is calling us, we need to simply perform uh, that move which is shown right now on the, on the screen. So it's uh, pretty cool in my opinion. And also we can raise to reduce the volume of incoming calls. Okay, and the last thing uh, is race to answer. So now, when we point our uh, phone near our ear, it will be the call that is incoming. It will be automatically answered. And again, you can read up how this works on the screen right now. And for example, if we are in the speaker mode or using Bluetooth earphones, raising the phone will switch to earpiece mode. Uh, and also the last thing uh, that is cool uh, is are the air gestures. They are right in here. Click on them. Uh, we have the air scroll and the grab shot. So let's begin with the air scroll. Uh, but uh, I was trying to use that and for example, sometimes it, it doesn't want to work. Make sure it's enabled right in here, the air scroll. Let's click on start. Uh, and in here we have a tutorial. So now we need to hold our hand at 20 to 40 centimeters from the screen, just like that. Okay, uh, when this white hand icon that you can see between my fingers right now appears, we need to wrist, uh, we need to flick our wrist to the downside to scroll up. But just like I have said, it might don't work each time so I'll just show you that it works okay now it worked uh, but uh, just like uh, you can see right now uh, it might don't work each time now it worked uh, in that way but I was covering the screen with my hand so uh, if you want to come play with our features uh, I have shown that it works in that way you could see it, it on the screen uh, but in my opinion, it's not the best uh, thing. We also have the grab shot. Uh, we can turn it on. Let's click on start. Uh, and now, again, we need to place our hand above the screen. And now we need to uh, make a grab move to take a screenshot. Okay, you could see that uh, it actually it took the screenshot. So. Uh, the grab shot might work a little bit better uh, than the air scrolling. Alright, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.